Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm going to talk about which stocks I'm investing in and what I invest in, okay? Now I have several portfolios. I don't keep all my eggs in one basket. And right now the, the stocks that I am investing and building my portfolio up with that are interesting to me right at this point that I would say are buys, good stocks to buy and start adding to your positions or your portfolios is number one, Google. I've been picking up as much Google as possible right here around the 140, 145 area. Definitely get as much of it below 150 because once it goes past that 150, it will keep shooting up. Another interesting stock that I continue to now accumulate and listen, my strategy is investing and trading. I do both of them simultaneously. But most good stocks that I trade, I also am accumulating them. But I take advantage of the volatility and the swings between its channel to do trades. And when I get them at the low side of the channel, I just hold on to those positions and slowly start creating what I call basis in each one of my picks. So another stock that I'm doing this with is SoFi. I love SoFi right here, right around the $8 mark. If this stock pulls back, which some people think it might, it's a great buy. SoFi under $8.50, it's a great buy. Don't buy SoFi above $8.50 for the long run when you can get it now close to the eights. Another small cap stock that I find interesting and I'm following is Stitch Fix. And Stitch Fix is a small cap that's very interesting. It's using AI. It's using AI to sell clothing in boxes. It sends boxes of clothing to people and uh, they buy what they like and they return what they don't. However, I find it interesting and I don't want to get too much into each one of these stocks, but ask me questions on the comment section, which ones you're interested in, and I can make more videos about them. Stitch Fix, try to get that around the $3 if you can, $3.20. It's pulling back. It's it's coming in a, in a point where it's interesting. It's hard to tell if it's going to drop more and make a new low or it's just going to start taking off. But I anticipate that it's going to start taking off because the Russell 2000 is getting ready to take off and interest rate reductions are going to happen in the next few months. So let's move on. Let's talk about another one that I find interesting to trade and start to accumulate. Enphase. Enphase is an awesome one. Enphase is pulling back. I think that Enphase could go all the way to 100, 102, depending what kind of bad news keeps surfacing in the solar sector. But right now, I could definitely see it pulling back to $110 and I will be starting to pick it up that's my threshold once it hits 110 dollars whatever below that i'm good to grab it and possibly hold it but i've been trading it I haven't lost once with them face what's another one that i'm doing another one that i'm doing is esther lauder ticker sign el now esther lauder it's a great interesting company it is a cosmetics skincare top of the line if you know a woman that uh, you have the blessing to have a woman near you that takes care of her skin, she's going to know. It owns brands like Clinique and so many other ones. Now, Esther Lauder is a luxury brand and luxuries are doing good. Additionally, it already is already starting to move up, even though it's Chinese market, it still hasn't really picked up. Esther Lauder is getting tailwinds from African markets. Africa's economies are starting to do good. And luxuries, uh, people every all over the world love luxuries. So they're getting a lot of traction in Africa and here in North America and South America, basically the North American part of the continent, you know, Canada, U.S., Mexico, and South America, many countries down there, there's a lot of wealthy people. Uh they're doing real good. So 
there's an anticipation of the Chinese market starting to pick up and that's going to be a huge, huge catalyst for the stock. But Esther Lauder is real beautiful. It kind of got away from a lot of people. I've been talking about it. It's now about $150. That got as low as $110. And if you buy it right now and you hold it, you will be fine. Don't get scared of it. Pulls back. Pick up some more. Those are my recommendations. I would not trade Esther Lauder. Just grab it and hold it. Same thing with Google. I would not trade that. Just grab it and hold it. Uh, Sulfi, I would not be trading it too much anymore. Just grab it and hold it. Now, another one that I've been doing is Palantir. I love Palantir. I've made so much money with Palantir. I've been trading the heck out of it. So much so that this last pullback, I picked up the biggest position ever in Palantir. Thousands of shares, and I did sell it, guys. I sold out of Palantir. What can I tell you? Did I make a dumb move? A lot of people think so, but I sold out of it. I started trimming it at around 23, and I finally sold it at 25, anticipating that it's going to stay true to its technicals and pull back. I anticipate myself grabbing more Palantir stock around the $20 mark. And if it goes low, I don't see it going back to 16. Anything could happen. FUD attacks are going to hit the AI industry, I would say, sometime towards the end of this year. And we could see anything happen. But any any Palantir under $20 is a blessing. Um, And now I would start picking Palantir up to accumulate for the wrong for the long run you cannot go wrong with palantir no way can you go wrong with palantir whether you pick it up barely and you barely start getting into palantir to go long or whether you're like me been trading the heck out of it and taking advantage of each time you make all that cash to start grabbing other things that are going to take off now i obviously talk a lot about fisker talk a lot about nicola these are spac ipos that i follow i follow quite a bit of them so far it's also a spac ipo but I'm not going to add them to this uh, dialogue because those stocks are not just for anybody and you got to know what you're doing. But the recommendations I just gave you, you will be okay if you just go with them except Stitch Fix. That one, you also got to know what you're doing and you got to look into it. Now, lastly, what other kind of things am I picking up on and accumulating that I think they're really good? Okay. Amazon, I'm grabbing some of that, you know. Um, Tesla, I've been trading Tesla. Tesla's more like a trading stock, but Tesla is also an interesting stock. You cannot go wrong with Tesla as long as you're willing to hold it ultra long. And if you're holding it and you see your position drop more than 20%, you're willing to add more to it. That will give you a good play and you will be fine. Anyhow, I'm going to leave this list here. I don't know if you guys appreciate these kind of videos. Let me know by giving it thumbs up, by its views, by subscribing on the video, and definitely by asking me which stocks you would like me to review. Right now, I'm also looking at Rocket Lab. Just an interesting one to put in your watch list. I'll catch everybody on the next one.